lava flowing from the volcano that destroyed around 200 homes. If you believe the world will end due to an asteroid, you should think again since the end might come from immediately beneath your feet. An 18 million year old scar of volcanic mayhem spanning 350 miles or 560 kilometers from northern Nevada to southern Idaho and up into the northwest Wyoming is what is called the Yellowstone Volcano. It's the most dangerous volcano on planet Earth. Underneath Yellowstone National Park lies a five mile deep magma reservoir fed by a massive plume of molten rock rising from hundreds of miles below. This magma chamber has only erupted a few times in recorded history, with the most recent eruption happening around 70,000 years ago. In today's video, we'll talk about the massive crack that's opened in Yellowstone and discuss the possibility of a super eruption as well as its repercussions on the surrounding area. Well, the reason Yellowstone receives so much attention is due to the distant prospect of catastrophic super eruptions. A super eruption is defined as any event that measures magnitude 8 or higher on the volcano explosivity index and in which at least 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles of material is expelled. That would be sufficient to bury the state of Texas five feet deep. In comparison to even the largest eruptions we're used to, the force of these super eruptions from Yellowstone will be on another scale entirely particularly up to a thousand times greater. Now, the world's largest volcano, Yellowstone, is finally awakening, and it has ripped open the surface of the Earth. Experts from Yellowstone National Park have found out that a significant portion of magma has started to pulse beneath the park's surface. Many people are constantly wondering whether or not this time bomb will detonate and whether it will do so during our lifetimes. Recently, authorities from Yellowstone National Park have discovered that a big lump of magma that has started pulsing titanic forces pushed approximately 10,000 geothermal features deep under Yellowstone National Park. Because of the combined effects of heat and pressure, the surface of the Earth in the parking area has been going through periods of both rising and falling, comparable to the uneven breathing that huge animals have while they sleep. As magma flows into a magma chamber, or a reservoir that's located 6 to 10 kilometers under the park, the ground begins to inflate. This continues until the magma begins to solidify and cool, at which point the ground begins to collapse. Since 1923, volcanologists have been observing and documenting this activity. It's estimated that the ground rose by approximately 25 centimeters, or 9.8 inches, between the years 2004 and 2009, but that beginning in 2010, the land began to descend. The park's steamboat geyser, the world's highest active geyser, has been erupting at a rate that has never been seen before since March of 2018. In addition, experts have suggested that there may be a slight increase in the risk of hydrothermal explosions in the basin, and these geologic movements may provide an explanation. Because of the shifts underneath Yellowstone's subterranean geology, its subterranean exploration is exceptionally challenging due to the park's complex and hidden geology. However, scientists agree that the injection of a large quantity of magma and the fluids that escaped during the eruption are responsible for the ground both rising and sinking. The three-dimensional imaging of the vast magma plume or pipe beneath Yellowstone which is responsible for transporting lava and intense heat up throughout the Earth's mantle, was also an important discovery, especially in light of the unanticipated caldera deformation, so that researchers may monitor the effects of seismic waves as they travel through a variety of materials beneath the park. Magma Chamber of Yellowstone is a deeper and more significant location in plate tectonic theory due to the irregularly skewed plume of magma that feeds the shallower magma system by rising from the upper mantle of the Earth in the northwest and plunging to the depths of 400 miles below. Together with other volcanic gases, the ash will be able to block off a significant portion of the sun's radiation. Because of this, the temperatures will be below average for several years, and the amount of energy available to plants will also be below normal. Finding food to eat is going to be the most dangerous result of a supervolcanic eruption. Because of the ash, the lack of sunshine, and the cooler temperatures, the process of photosynthesis, which is necessary for plants to generate energy, 
will be diminished if there is insufficient sunlight. The animals that eat plants would perish from starvation. That's all for today's video, guys. What do you think of the Yellowstone volcano? Tell us your views in the comments section below. See you in the next video.